Ah. Reassure your mind, reassure yourself. Though that situation is there as if it's lingering, then let it know that the Lord is perfecting everything concerning you. Seen and unseen, the Lord is a perfecter of all goodness. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. That is why you are here tonight. That the Lord will continue the work of perfection in your life, in my life, in our lives, in our homes. That's why we are here. And the Lord is well able, more than able to perfect everything that concerns you, be it spiritual, physical, financial, whatsoever. Name them. Because tonight, stone will turn into pillow. Eternal Lord, we bless your name. We thank you because you are God. The God who has us in his mind on daily basis. Thank you because you are perfecting all things that concerns us. Perfecting those things, spiritual things, those things that will make us become genuine Christians. We are perfecting them. Even tonight you will prove it again. We pray in Jesus' name. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I know you remember as a Bible scholar on that day during the wedding in the Cana, the marriage. That's a certain thing, something that happened. That the thing that we are using, the wine ran out and the people were worried. But they went to the mother of Jesus. Do you know what she said? Whatever he told you to do, do it. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. I want us to know that tonight, that thing that brought you here, as the Lord uses his instrument to open the scriptures and tell us what to do, tell yourself that you will go and do it. Open your mouth and tell the Lord as your word comes out from the pulpit of many colors and instruct me tonight, I will go and do it so that the miracle I am looking for, so that that testimony you want to come and testify, the Lord will perfect it. Open your mouth and pray. Lord, we thank you because we know that by the power of your word, you will speak to us. Go ahead. We will listen. We will obey. We will do as your word. We ask us, we prefer us, we command us to do in Jesus' name. We pray in Jesus' name. Father, we bless your name. Lord, we thank you very, very much. Thanking you because it's another charismatic hour. The time you have assured us that whatsoever that comes to stone in our lives, we turn into pillows. We have no doubt about it. Because he who has promised, he is well able to perfect it, to bring it to pass. Therefore, this day, eternal Father, let every stone turn into pillows as a sign that we have come to the charismatic hour. Thank you because we will do even more than that. To you be all the glory. We pray that the instruments you will use even tonight, everlasting Father, you will use him to speak life into us. You will use him to bring deliverance. You will use him even as Moses came around and thought to the children of Israel that your salvation has come, so he will mount even much more than Moses because we are in the new era. The time that Jesus is an oppression, working with Abu minister, eternal father by the spirit of the living God tonight, he will speak to our freedom. He will speak to our deliverance. The power of your word will come out of his mouth of God and signs and wonders shall follow because we believe. To you be all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. We are prayed. Amen. And amen. amen. May we all happily be seated. I welcome each and every one of you to the Watchman Catholic Charismatic Renewal Movement. And for the avoidance of any misrepresentation, I want to let you know that the term Catholic used in the ministry's name is used in its original and proper sense. In that sense, the word means universal. 
Thank you for coming today. Today is our charismatic hour. The charismatic hour starts by 7 p.m. And after the charismatic hour, the Lord brings us on, on Friday, the Bible study that commences on 7 p.m. And then launches us into the Sunday light, where the light of God will shine in our life. And that starts out by the hour of 10, 8, 9 a.m. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Are we all ready and saved? Yes, sir. May we bow down our hearts and wake our pastor. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, please let's take this information. Um that there are good news. Praise the Lord. Amen. The first one is uh, our mother sister, Mama Innocent, went for surgery and the surgery was successful. She's back home. So you can give her a call at 240 7 very soon she will be back with us, praise the Lord. Then, in the same token, Mama Columbia called and said, um, is that the daughter or the, the daughter? The son and the daughter-in-law. Okay, the daughter-in-law put to bed and after ten years. 10 years of oh. waiting. <laughs> She is super happy. I'm sure she'll be happy if you give her a call at 410-290-3891. Again, 410-290-3891. That's Mama Columbia, Sister Dockers. By now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Do you want more good news? Yes, sir. Okay. More. Okay. More, 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 more. Yeah, it's always uh, it's always uh, good and refreshing to get and hear news that, that are good. Not well that make somebody to cry. And uh, what we will hear this night will be the epitome of goodness. Praise Amen. the Lord. Let's sing from our song book, song number 120. Song number 120. Want to go. One Saturday, beside the highway, begging, his eyes were blind, the light he could not see. He clutched his rod and shivered in the shadow. Then Jesus came. Feel the light 
Oh, 
that does what none else can do. You are still the same today. You are still the same at this moment. Lord, that it is another time to do good. It is another time to do wonders. You have been doing wonders every day, every day. Lord, that you have continued to do wonders. Because you are the Almighty. Here we come again. Here we come before you. We have been come before you. For the wonders of your doing. Here we come before you. And it is a charismatic hour. The time of your wonder. The time that is better experienced than explained. Rachel Sada. Rachel Sada. Now that does what no else can do. Come and have your way again. Come and meet us again at our point of need. For the glory of your name. Come and touch us again. Father, your eyes are in the pit. Come and deliver us again. Come and pull us out again.
And it came to pass as he went into the house of one of the chief Pharisees to eat bread on a Sabbath. And Jesus answering spake unto the lawyers and Pharisees, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath day? And they heard their peace. And he took him and healed him, and let him go. And answered them, saying, Which of you shall have an ass or an ox fallen into a pit? And will not straight away pull him out on the Sabbath day? And they could not answer him again to these things. In Matthew chapter 12, Matthew chapter 12, verse 3, verse 10 to 14. Matthew chapter 12, verses 10 to 14. And behold, there was a man which had his hand with him. And they asked him, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath day that they might accuse him? And he said unto them, what man shall there be among you that shall have one sheep? And if it fall into a pit on the Sabbath day, will he not lay hold on it and lift it out? How much then is a man better than a sheep? Wherefore, it is lawful to do well on the Sabbath days. Then said he to the man, Stretch forth thy hand. And he stretched it forth, and it was restored whole, like as the other. I'll stop there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once again, we welcome you to this hour. The Lord wants us to survey this uh, verses and then we have the blessing and the benefit therefrom. In our text we could see essentially the Lord likened that man with, the, with that hand to an ass, and we will understand that shortly. Remember also that the children of Israel, the Israelites at that time, were predominantly farmers, and the animal or the beast ass was useful to them in their farming business. We will further look at this message under three points. Point one, we will look at the ass in the life of a farmer. Point two, we will look at the lost ass. And then point three, our application and benefit. Point number one, the ass in the life of a farmer. The ass was, and I think it still is, an economic beast. We can say was mainly because as at that time, that was beast of burden, like the ass was 
almost the only means of uh, uh, transportation, whether you used to haul one thing, one load from one point to the other, or even to transport the owner from one point to the other. So it was therefore so important in the life of the farmer. Remember that again, the children of Israel as I then were predominantly farmers. So no when the source was then talking to them and using an ass, you see where he's coming from. Because he knew the role, how important this beast, you know, was to the people then. How indispensable the beast was in their life. It's a beast of burden, like we have said. So it helped them carry their goods, their farm produce, whatever they want to be transported from one location to the other in first Samuel chapter 16 and verse 20. First Samuel chapter 16 and verse 20. And an ass laden with bread and a bottle of wine, and a kid, and send them by David his son unto Saul. So, you see there, the fact, the proof that uh, it was serving as a beast of burden to them. He loaded it. With that, those goods meant for Saul, the king in Second Samuel also, Second Samuel chapter sixteen and verse one. Second Samuel chapter sixteen and verse one. And when David was a little past the top of the hill, of the hill, Behold, Ziba, the servant of Mephibosheth, met him with a couple of asses, saddled upon them two hundred loaves of bread, and a hundred bunches of raisins, and a hundred of summer fruits, and a bottle of wine. So, again, you see the list can continue on and on. You remember, even in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ, on the day of his triumphant entry into Jerusalem, remember that it was an ass that he rode on. So it served as a beast of burden as well as a means of transporting the people. In Numbers chapter 22, let's read Numbers. Chapter 22, verses 20 to 22. Numbers, chapter 22, from verse 20 to verse 22. And God came unto Balaam at night and said unto him, If the men Come to call thee, rise up and go with them. But yet the words which I shall say unto thee, that shall thou do. And Balaam rose up in the morning and saddled his ass. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. And went with the princes of Moab. And God's anger was kindled because he went. And the angel of the Lord stood in the way for an adversary against him. Now he was riding upon his ass and his two servants with him. So if you see the two um, services all represented there, he loaded the ass with whatever 
his goods, and then he also sat, just like you also load your goods today in the boot of your vehicle and enter into the vehicle and you are moving. So the ass, you see, was basically serving that purpose to them as at that time. In Second Chronicles chapter 28, Second Chronicles chapter 28 and verse 15. And the men, I'm reading Second Chronicles chapter 28, verse 15, And the men which were expressed by name rose up and took the captives, and with the spoil clothed all that were naked among them, and arrayed them, and shot them, and gave them to eat, and to drink, and anointed them, and carried all the feeble of them upon asses, and brought them to Jericho the city of palm trees, to their brethren. Then they returned to Samaria. So, we, what we are seeing and saying is that the earth is so, so important to them. In fact, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. More important to them than car. A car, you know, you know, cars are generally important, but uh, cars are more important to women than men. Really? Yes. Praise the Lord. Oh, but I'm saying that the ass was much, much, much important to them. And how you want to understand it is that these people that so hallowed the Sabbath, that's, you remember that was the, the, the sore point of why they persecuted Jesus so, because of Sabbath. They so, uh, you know, had to eat, you know, so tight. But now, because of this ass, they will violate that Sabbath. The people that will not cook food on a Sabbath day to eat, that will not you see, the, if from where we read, you see that they are willing that if somebody is dying, so to say, they don't mind. But now, but now, they will violate the same thing because of the ass. Showing you how important, how they rate this thing in their life. They are asked so, so, important to them and that was why when he gets to that point Sabbath can wait <laughs> and Jesus knew it and they knew it so when they now came around and challenging Jesus you know he threw it back at them and they came quiet praise the Lord Hallelujah. that is uh, how important the ass is in the life of the of the farmer. In Luke chapter 14, our text again, verses 1 to 6. Luke chapter 14. Verses 1 to 6, And it came to pass as he went into the house of one of the chief Pharisees to eat bread on the Sabbath day, that they watched him. And behold, there was a certain man before him which had a dropsy. And Jesus answered, spoke unto the lawyers and the Pharisees, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath day? And they heard their peace. And he took him and hid him and let him go. And answering, answered them, saying, Which of you shall have an ass on or an ox fallen into a pit, and will not straightway pull him out on the Sabbath day, lest he dies there? That's why they will violate the Sabbath to pull it out, because it is very, very important to them. And of course, 
They were not happy that he healed the man on the Sabbath, but then they could, they do, when they come to the ash, Sabbath can hold on. How that, as we move to the second point, and the second point is the Lord's ass. That ass belonging to the Lord. There is the ass that belongs to the farmer, that belongs to the Jews. The ass that they, uh, the, all the things that they cannot do, but for the sake of the ass, they will then do it. Now, we want to let you know that children of God, especially those that have given their lives to seek and to serve Him in truth and in spirit, all such people can consider themselves as the lost has. If you have given your life to Jesus Christ, and you are spending your life serving Him, obeying Him, making a conscious effort to do His pleasure, then you are the lost as if you are important to the Lord. Remember where we are coming from. The ass was important to the farmer, to these Jews, these Pharisees, that hold the Sabbath so tight. That we are willing to kill because of Sabbath. But now when it comes to their, uh, this, thing, this animal that is so uh, indispensable to their life, then now don't remember Sabbath. Again, in trying to save that animal from the pit. And now we are telling you, as the ass, that literal ass, is to the, those farmers, so also and much more is are we, we, children of God, you and myself, are unto the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you can find that there is some way that you are useful to the Lord, that in some way you are serving His purpose on earth, yes, we are the lost us if we have dedicated our lives, our time, our intellect, the best of our abilities, and even our resources unto his service. If you are such, then you are the lost ass. I myself, I am the lost ass. Remember Jesus challenged those Jews that we are not happy that he came to the rescue of the man that had been in trouble. The, the Jews were not happy. The Jews were offended because it was on a Sabbath day. But Jesus reminded them that that was, that was important to them too. That their animal, that as that was important to their life, they also take it out of trouble on a Sabbath day. Now, in the impliedly saying, this man, being a child of God, as it were, deserves better treatment than an ass. Praise the Lord. So he challenged them on that note. And they kept quiet, even though they were not happy. But then, truth is truth. They could deliver their own ass, get it out of trouble, get it out of danger, 
violating the Sabbath. Now, what about the Lord's house? That's taking us to the last point. Our application and benefits. We are already there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We then can conclude, we can understand that all genuine children of God that we are of more value, greater value to the Lord than the earth was to the farmer. Are you to with me? Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I say again, all genuine children of God that have dedicated their life to his service that are serving him, not looking back, not looking to the left or to the right, that are plunged in everything, and then on whatever that is necessary. Praise the Lord. And I tell you, especially in this day, these very last days, that the gospel work is heating up. My friend, the gospel work is heating up. The work of revival is heating up. Did you hear that the Lord will, out of this dilapidated world, raise up multitude of uh, heaven-bound candidates? But it takes work, and that work will be executed by him. He will use you as he will use me. And because of that, as many of us as have agreed, as many of us as have yielded, as many of us as are yielding, you did whatever we can offer. You did our life first. You did our time. You did our ability. You did our intellect. You did our resources. I say we are the Lord's ass. And that being so, are you in any ditch? Are you in any ditch? Of whatever is a trouble, that is the pit. That that is putting you in some uncomfortable situation, that is the pit. And if then the Jews, the Pharisees, will break the Sabbath when it comes to rescuing, remember themselves will not if they if they fail to prepare food on Friday, then that means there will be no meal the next day. That's the extent of how they handle the Sabbath. But now, they, but now, when it comes to this animal, they don't joke with it. My friend, much more, praise the Lord, Hallelujah. much more will God not joke with your welfare. Much more will God not joke with your interest. My friend, God is faithful, praise the Lord. God is faithful. God is more righteous than the Pharisees. God is more considerate, more understanding, of more compassion than the Pharisees. And so, but if these people can go that extra mile, what they do, bring it their ass in a pit on the Sabbath is going the extra mile. But if they can do it, because they consider that this beast is so important to them, my friend, you are of much greater value. God raised you more than the Pharisees raised their beast. Praise the Lord. So what then, NHD? Are we together? Yes, sir. What NHD? Remember, it's application and benefits. It's for somebody to say, okay, if that is true, then you are thinking around yourself. Then you are, you are pointing things out and say, but look at this, look at this, that is pinching me here or there. Look at this situation, maybe in my body. Look at this circumstance around me that is not to my pleasure, that I don't want. Look at this that is standing against my interest. Oh Lord! Get me out of this pit. Pit of any trouble. Pit of any trouble. But the question is, are you the lost 
as But somebody can even even if before now you have uh, maybe been uh, playing in, sitting on the fence kind of, but the decision and the resolve you make now to say okay, it is better that I become the lost ass, so that the Lord can go the extra man. My friend, have I not told you before that when you become the lost ass, now God can even kill because of you. When you become the lost ass, I say we, we God can even kill because of you, because of fighting your battle, because of protecting your interests. And I am telling you what I know, and I'm telling you from experience. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So what Elliot did? But are you the lost ass? <laughs> that's the only that's the only caveat there. That's the only caveat. But if you can, if you starting from this moment, by some change of mind, by some change of attitude, by some change of disposition, to agree with the Lord and say, Oh righteous father, what am I waiting for? It is in my interest that I be your ass. So that you cannot pick me out from the pit. Let's pray. Yeah. What a red day. Part of the thing that concerns me is that I don't, um, I don't know how many people can prepare. I don't know how many people can expect it. I don't know how many people can. And when people come to the Lord unprepared, even when you are handing them the thing, to even set hand and receive it, it becomes trouble. Be the Lord's ass, and he will go the extra mile. And he will change the rule for your sake. And he will change the policy for your sake. <laughs> be the Lord's ass. Agree to be the Lord's ass. And let it be a challenge. Excellency of Jacob, a righteous God. You are more righteous than the Pharisees, O God of glory. Yes, he is more righteous than the Pharisees, those religious people. But they then recognize that this ass is so important. And what they will not even do for themselves, they are not going to do it for the ass. What they will not do for a fellow human being, they will go because of the ass. My friend, when you are taking some inconvenience because for the sake of the Lord, those things uh, does not go without reward. I say when you are taking some inconvenience for his name said, those things does not go without reward. Now is the time to tap into the resources. Into the treasure of your service. <laughs> Who has believed our report? <laughs> and to whom is the act of the Lord revealed? <laughs> Believe the report. And you will see the act of the Lord be revealed. <laughs> Tell the Lord I am 
your ass. They are born they never be from this problem. But be sure that you are his ass indeed. Get me out of this pit, oh Lord. This pit of problem, this pit of sickness, this pit of disease. Get me out of this pit, oh Lord. This pit of difficulty. Get me out of this pit, oh Lord, I am your ass. That I may serve you better. That I may serve you better.
Lord, that we are more useful. I am more useful. Can somebody say, I am more useful? I am more useful. We are more useful. Lord, the watchmen are more useful to you. Yes, we are more useful. We are your allies. As we have prayed upon hearing your word with the illumination and the awareness and the understanding, O oh Lord, as we have prayed, stretch forth the mighty hand. And pull us out of the pit. Amen. Out of every pit that we have been into. Yes, pull us out in Jesus' name. Yes. Because there is a purpose we are serving for you. Yes, we are of benefit unto the Lord. Yes, we are of service, O oh Lord. I see men and women that are interested and they are responding. I see men and women that are all not committing whatever they can in the service of the Lord. These are the eyes of the Lord. And because they are, we are the eyes of the Lord, you cannot remain, we cannot remain in the peace. Righteous Father, we cannot be left in the pit because you are righteous. I said, deliver everyone. Pull out everyone. For whatever the pit is, pull out everyone. In Jesus' name. Thank you, everlasting Father. Your ultimate in power. Honor and glory and praise be unto you. It is done in Jesus' name.
thank you. I appreciate the Lord. Thank him on behalf of the message you have heard. Let him know that you are happy because you have been rescued. You are out from that situation as the Lord helped those people who stand so important to the earth. And the Lord has made us know that we are more important than those asses. Thank tell the Lord, I appreciate that. Thank you, dependable Father. Thank you because we are important to you than those that are the eternal Father. And because we are important, the eternal Father, you will do much more in our lives and in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you because we are out of that pit of trouble. Thank you because we are out of that situation. Thank you because your word we have heard have delivered us and rescued us, and we are free in Jesus' name. Amen. Not only being free, but free indeed. Amen. Not only being free now, but free forever. Amen. To you be all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, as we go, you go with us. May your presence continue to go with us and return us again on Friday in continuation of your blessing upon our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for the offering, Lord. Thank you, Lord. you have been blessing us, mesmerizing us with financial breakthroughs. We can't say it all. And now we come with the token, we pray that you will receive it from us. And whatsoever the offering will be used, that everlasting Father, we pray that make, let it be to the glory of your name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. The grace. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be and abide with us now forevermore. Amen. Surely his goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May we go in the peace of the Lord. Amen.